Ugh. I actually thought I'd be stronger to withhold that, but it's pretty heavy, you guys. Imagine a celebrity sleep routine involves like being covered in gold, people feeding you grapes before bed. Like most people, I really love sleep. I love feeling energized in the morning. I'm hoping to see improvement in my skin, my hair. I would like to see an improvement in my mood. I don't actually get very good sleep. I so rarely want to get out of bed. So I would love it if I could just like pop up and just be ready to take on the world. Tonight's sleep routine is from Oprah Winfrey. In an interview with Harper Bazaar, Oprah said part of her bedtime routine was taking a bath. In the evening, I have a bath before bed. It's a ritual. I'm a bathing professional. I have different bubble baths, salts, beads, and oils. I can just like imagine Oprah just like having a huge tub, like probably the size of some people's pools. I bet it's pretty spectacular. Sleep fact. Sleep hygiene is a term that encompasses the bedroom environment and sleep-related rituals. Optimizing sleep hygiene could help address sleep insufficiency. I've got some nice lavender bubble bath. I'm gonna add that into very hot water. It's gonna be good. Bubbles. I instantly feel so relaxed. I could cry, honestly. I feel like I'm in a music video right now. I have so many bubbles around me. I also feel very calm. I'm talking in the quiet voice. <laughs> Oprah, yes, you have an amazing bedtime ritual. I feel like I'm gonna have a restful sleep already. All right, good night. I gotta be honest, I didn't sleep very well last night. I did fall asleep really quickly and felt very relaxed before bed. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. You know, I wanna say I would do more baths in the future. I feel like this is something that needs to be repeated so I can get a more accurate reading. Tonight's sleep routine is from Kristen Bell. I love her so much. She has great skin. After putting her kids to bed, Kristen and Dax will have an hour of alone TV time together. She sleeps on a silk pillow to help with hair damage and typically uses a sleep mask before bed. I love a silk pillowcase. Love it. I'm currently using one from Upstate. I feel like it helps my skin and helps less breakage of my hair. Sul Wasu makes an amazing mask that I had gotten as a gift. It's called Concentrated Ginseng Renewing Mask and I put it on and it was like, this is unreal. Sleep fact, according to a study published in the journal Nature Communications, people who are sleep deprived feel isolated and less willing to engage with others and would also evade contact in much the same way as people with social anxiety. I definitely don't want to be around people if I haven't slept <laughs> and you don't want to be around me. It's interesting that they're packaged separately. I haven't seen that before. Wow, this sticks so well. This feels like celebrity status. And I only have the top wow. half on. That hugs your face. That's like... Wow, it's not slimy. That's so... I don't want to be rich. Ooh, that is satisfying. Oh, you're glowing. I am done with the mask. It's not as sticky as I thought it'd be. It's actually pretty dry. Glowing celebrity <laughs> status. Million dollar face. I'm ready to get out there and Perfect. go to bed. Watching TV with my boyfriend was very nice. It always is. I gave the Upstate pillowcase a wash. It's so soft. I've got my silk pillowcase and I'm going to bed. Good night. I got a good night's sleep. I was still a little restless, but the silk pillow actually was really comfortable. Obviously I can't tell if like my hair and skin are benefiting from the silk pillowcase just after one night's sleep, but I'll sleep with it for the rest of the week to see if anything else arises. And I also liked that there was like a mandatory hour of time to connect with my husband and to like watch TV. You guys, so good. I'm obsessed with this mask. It was one of those mornings where you wake up and you look in the mirror and you're like, Glowing! It's night three and tonight's sleep routine is from Mariah Carey. According to Business Insider, to keep her voice prime and ready at a moment's notice, Mariah Carey likes to have her room steamy. Literally, I'll have 20 humidifiers around my bed. Basically, it's like sleeping in a steam room. Sleep fact! According to the Sleep Foundation, almost half of all Americans say they are tired during the day on the average of three to seven days per week. Yeah, sounds about right. I used to sing in high school. Maybe I'll give it a little sing test tomorrow morning to see how these pipes are. <laughs> this is the coolest humidifier I've ever freaking seen. 
it looks like we're in the jungle. Looking up what humidifiers do, it basically just helps give you moisture on your skin, in your throat, your nose, your lips. So maybe it'll help with my allergies a little bit. Shower's done, hair is dried sleeping on this pillowcase for the second time. I'll see if my voice feels any better. And we'll see if I can sing like Mariah Carey. Whoa, whoa. Honestly, I'm really scared of being on camera without makeup on, but today, Look at my skin, it's like glowing. I don't really think the humidifier did anything. I will say my skin feels moist. When I touched my husband's face this morning, he said my hands were clammy. <laughs> In terms of voice, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Yeah, I don't know, it feels the same. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. Honestly, singing in the morning is, you gotta warm up. If you know one thing about singing is you gotta warm up. Tonight's sleep routine is from Australian model Elle McPherson. We need our beauty sleep. It's a scientific fact, McPherson told Elle magazine, that her nutritional doctor, Simone Lobsher, PhD, explained to her that during deep sleep, the skin's metabolic rate speeds up, which helps with repair. So McPherson's three-step night routine includes one, brewing a cuppa tea, number two, sleep spray, and number three, stretching before bed. Sleep fact, if you fall asleep too quickly, for example, if it takes you less than five minutes to get to sleep, you are probably part of the many who are sleep deprived. In reality, you should gradually fall asleep and it should take 10 to 15 minutes. I'm definitely sleep deprived. I literally will fall asleep mid-sentence. Is this butter mint? It's so yummy. I added a little almond milk. I'm feeling very cozy. It's feeling very fall. It's like you could feel the warm liquids going through your system and it just tells your body, oh, it's so comfy, it's time for bed. Oh my God, bed, there's a spider! There's a spider. I feel really relaxed. Like it definitely felt like a ritual. And actually this sleep spray, it's like kind of like I'm going to sleep in a meadow. Do you smell the lavender? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, the smell is really just making me so sleepy. So I actually slept really, really well last night and I can still smell the lavender and it's kind of putting me in a good mood this morning. I feel energized right now, which is amazing. I don't think I, I'm looking as fierce as Elle McPherson this morning, but otherwise I, I feel good. Tonight's sleep routine is from Ashley Graham. Ashley Graham says she'll take a shower around 10.30 p.m. after she's done feeding her new baby boy, Isaac. She then goes through her nighttime beauty routine, moisturizing her body from head to toe. She likes to use body spray lotion from Flamingo for quick application. She also finds this time to connect and slow down the day with her husband by doing meditation or prayer. Keeps us connected, but it also helps us wind down and disconnect from the chaos. Favorite nighttime drink of hers is Natural Vitality Calm. It's 100% magnesium. Orange is my favorite flavor. I'll do one scoop of that and boiling hot water and have it like hot tea before I go to bed. There's a lot to get done tonight. It's already nine o'clock, so I really need to get moving. I'm really bad at moisturizing because when you put lotion on your skin before bed after you shower, like you still kind of feel sticky and I hate that feeling. It doesn't feel like there's really anything to rub in. It kind of just feels like someone sprayed you with water. It's got white willow bark for exfoliation and apple extract for instant glow. I do have a very dewy look, which is nice. I don't love the feeling of lotion all over myself. To be honest, I can still feel like a layer of product on my skin, but it's not as like grippy as I thought it would be. So hopefully when I get into bed, I won't find it too uncomfortable. Sleep fact, a medical condition called dysania is when it's hard for someone to get out of bed in the morning. It could signal a nutritional deficiency, depression, or various other issues. Okay, well, I never want to get out of bed in the morning and I don't like vegetables. So maybe that's my nutritional deficiency is why I don't want to get out of bed. I feel like this has been more of a stressful week. So I am going to do the 10 minute meditation for stress that is already on the Goodful channel. Are you feeling connected to me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you feel like this is good for our marriage? Would you do this again with me? Absolutely. I think it was nice. I feel much more level now. I have the drink here. This is the Natural Vitality Calm Orange flavor, just like Ashley Graham likes. It is the anti-stress drink mix. 
Oh. Look at the fizzing action on this. It smells very citrusy. I don't like it. Kind of tastes like pool water with the hint of orange. It's as if I put salt, but not salt on my tongue. I am looking forward to going to bed. Good night. I've slept better with different routines than I did last night. I did have a little bit more trouble going to bed yesterday. I could feel the product on my skin, so that was kind of bothering me. Maybe that magnesium made me feel a little funky. Maybe it didn't do anything at all. I think like a bath or stretching is much more effective of getting me calm than the drink. Yesterday I did a meditation for stress. I do feel like it helped quite a bit. The meditation was kind of cool. I'd probably try that again. Ashley Graham. Beautiful lady, works for her. I don't I don't know if this exactly works for me. It's night six and tonight's sleep routine is from Gabrielle Union. According to Gabrielle Union's interview in Self Magazine, her operation shut it down starts around six. After some TV time, she will start lighting up some candles in the house. After that, she then starts her evening beauty routine. During the pandemic, she swears by doing a bath in herbivore coconut milk bath soak. She also enjoys powering down electronics at night. Starting Operation Shut It Down at six. Personally, I'm not often off work by six. Yeah, it's definitely a celebrity situation here where you don't have to work after six sometimes, I guess. Sleep fact, inadequate sleep has an economic impact of $411 billion each year in the United States. This is why we should have four day work weeks. Where's the petition for that? We should all sign it. How many candles is too many candles? I'm thinking about lighting six. It smells really good though. It smells like ice cream. I definitely feel like I'm taking some time for myself. It feels really nice. My skin is feeling very smooth. I am so happy. Like listen to the freaking candle. I think doing a sleep routine is putting me in a whole new headspace before bed. Just shutting down all the stimulus. It's like, retracts your brain in a good way. I didn't wake up this morning feeling incredibly changed from last night's sleep routine. I felt really relaxed going to bed. I don't know, maybe that coconut milk bath stuff is actually magic. I'm definitely gonna use that coconut milk bath again. It's just such a great way to treat yourself. Tonight's sleep routine comes from Jane Fonda. Her niece gave her a weighted blanket and according to her, it helps her get to sleep a lot easier. I just like the feeling of weight on me. So she gave me a 15 pound weighted blanket. I go to sleep so easily and I sleep all night and it's divine. She also enjoys sleeping in cooler temperatures and always needs a ceiling fan on in her room. I turn the temperature down to 68 and I turn the fan on so the air is always moving. I do really prefer sleeping with cooler temperatures. I overheat really easily. Sleep fact, 78% of people say they are more motivated to head to bed if they have fresh smelling sheets. Basically if I have like warm, crisp new sheets, I am excited to, to get into bed. <sighs> Ready for bed. It kind of feels like a medium sized dog is sleeping on me and also my dog is sleeping on top of me. I am actually very comfortable. If you're a tosser and a turner, you have no choice anymore. You must stay wherever you went to bed. It's a sad life. No cuddles for George. Ah. It was the best sleep I've gotten all week or in like a really long time. The weighted blanket was really nice. Yeah, it was super comforting. But it was too cold. We had to get the second blanket on top. Honestly, I feel pretty rested. I do too. More than anything this week just made me realize that I need to be an adult and start figuring out some type of routine for myself. The products allowed me to pamper myself, take care of myself, and because of that, I was able to go to sleep worry-free. And going to bed in a good mood helped my sleep improve. I will definitely stretch before bed at night. I think it is a great way to just get your muscles warm and relaxed. Hands down, I am keeping that weighted blanket that Jane Fonda recommended. It could be a mix of all those different things affecting my skin and hair. So that's more of an update long-term, but I will say the silk pillowcase is very, very, very soft. I will sometimes wake up with my hands under the pillow just because I like the soft coolness of it. All these sleep routines from these women are like boss ladies, famous, they work hard. And I think I gotta take a note from them and do the same for myself. This was really fun. I really enjoyed trying a bunch of different things from different people to see how it could help improve my sleep. Shout out to Sulwasu, Upstate, Flamingo, and Lavoie for sending us the free products for us to try this week. We really appreciated it. All the reviews from me and Katie are our own opinions and are true and honest. If you wanna check out the products, we've linked them in the description below. Let us know if we should try celebrity morning routines. Thanks for watching, bye.